guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I'm here today with a really fun YouTube challenge, drawing challenge by the one and only Mark Crilly. He's an amazing YouTube artist and he came up with this challenge called the 10 minute, one minute, 10 second challenge where you take uh, an image and you draw it for 10 minutes and then you draw it for one minute and then you draw it for 10 seconds. So it gets kind of crazy. Um, this, these kind of drawing exercises, I've never done part, anything particular like this, not a challenge like this, but, uh, I call it a drawing exercise because back when I was taking a class called Drawing for the Stage in college, which was basically just, um, a drawing 101 class just to teach theater designers how to draw for the stage. So I had our costume designer, he would always have us do warm-up sketches where he would take images from movies, uh, whether they be from the 1950s or modern day movies, and he would put them up on the overhead and he would have us draw those images for about five minutes in our sketchbooks in class, and then he would have us keep going and going to the point we were, where we were having about maybe 10, 10 drawings of five minute doodles. It was just a warm up exercise and it was always, it always got you warmed up, but it also taught us all something we didn't really realize was we never used our erasers. So as you can see, I don't use my eraser to the end of this doodle, but I'd freak out. <laughs> I was freaking out a little bit because uh, all I could see was that clock ticking. <laughs> so I had everything sketched out first and I didn't care if there was like all these guidelines that were there. I just left them there and I didn't want to erase anything. So if you guys always ask me to do the no eraser challenge, I just go, well, it, I just, every time somebody did ask me, I was like, well, that was a bit, it's a bit easy because I was trained in this class not to use my eraser because of these exercises where we would have to draw for five minutes. So my, my technique is I went ahead, sketched everything out. And as you can see, I started shading once I, I had everything laid out that I wanted to have on the actual doodle. And then I went in and erased what I needed to erase. So it was just, it's crazy. It, it's a lot of pressure, but it does teach you one of the most important things. Don't be afraid to make mistakes when it comes to doodling or sketching. That's the biggest thing. Just don't be afraid to make mistakes. Ignore your eraser because it's, some people really use it for a crutch. And even if you want to be crazy intense with this challenge, he had us do these exercises in ink as opposed to pencil because he did not want us to erase. So you could look at this doodle and you could be really satisfied. And I, and I think it's a great warm up sketch. I highly suggest that everybody takes about 10 minutes a day just to doodle something out in their sketchbooks and everything. It's just a good way to loosen up and get ready for the good old art day. And plus it just gets you practicing. So when it came to the one minute part, I was a little scared because I had 10 minutes and I liked what I, what I made, what I doodled out of Mad Hatter and Alice. And I was just scared because the pressure was on. I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? And you know, once again, it's that point of, don't you dare touch your eraser. It's not needed right now. Just keep, keep doodling, keep going. <laughs> So I just, I didn't speed this up at all. This is just real time. So it's, it's a full minute. And I thought, well, I guess we can just go into real time. And of course I'm freaking out because it's once again, it's the process in my mind is saying, I want everything to be perfect, but pressure is on because it is ticking down. Ah, it was terrifying. A really cool way to look at this at the end is it's like building blocks almost. It's like, what are the main things? Cause once you see, I get to the 10 second sketch, I always start with their faces first and how they're turned. Like I have Alice's profile and then you see like most of the right side of the Mad Hatter's face. But it's just really cool that that's what I go for first because I always teach you guys to start the, the faces first. 
so when I got to the 10 seconds part, as you can see, it, my mind exploded. It was just like, oh my gosh, hurry up. But then once again, you see, I start with the profile side of Alice's face and then the side, <laughs> I threw fit there. <laughs> it just, your adrenaline gets going. And this is such a fun challenge made by Mark Creeley. I really hope you'll go check out his videos on his 10 minute, one minute, 10 seconds challenges. And there's plenty of other videos. So go check those out guys. And I really hope you have a wonderful day.